Okay, I'm making this the shortest video ever in hopes that this one actually works. I've been having technical trouble all week. Ironically, this is the video on World War I technology. Hmm, go figure. So let's look a little bit at grenades, which were used, or quiet please, to clear out trenches in World War I. Also, um, the Gewehr rifle. This is the 1898 Gewehr rifle. Um, it was used from 1898 all the way until 1935 until it was replaced by the Carabiner uh, 90. Okay, and also the uh, the Gewehr 1888 um, was used before this in the Boxer Rebellion. Um, it had a five uh, round stripper clip, but also more um, damaging, let's say, than this rifle were machine guns. There were different types of machine guns, primarily the Maxim gun, which wasn't actually new to World War One. It's around from this guy Maxim here in Maxim in 1884. Um, and it was associated with the British Imperial Conquest that we just learned about. Uh, if you look at it, it's like a huge vacuum cleaner. It's nothing that one guy could carry around it. It was big and cumbersome. It had all these hoses hooked up to it with water to um, pump through it to keep it cold, uh, cooled down. Uh, the British also um, sort of modified their Maxim gun to the Vickers machine gun, which was improved um, and used uh, beginning in 1912. Now, tanks were also used for the very first time in World War I. They have their roots, actually, in agriculture and farm tractors. Um, but there was actually a request by the military saying, hey, we need something that can get our men over the trenches. Uh, this tank failed at that attempt. But that was primarily what they were designed for. Here's an example of one of the first ones, the Little Willie, which is also sometimes spelled W-I-L-L-I-E. This was created in the autumn of 1915. Its goal was to be able to cross five-foot trenches. It had um, a Maxim gun on it. It had about six men in it, forward to operate uh, the guns. German tanks were, there was only about 50, and most of them were captured British tanks, and they were awful, which is ironic because by World War II, the Germans had, you know, awesome superior tanks. Here's the Whippet, another British tank, um, which was to complement the slower and um, heavier tanks. It was a little bit faster. It would exploit breaks in enemy lines. This was made around 1917, and that had four Hotchkiss machine guns on it. Most tanks only held about three people, and they only went about three miles an hour. So this quote didn't uh, come out, but it was them joking about how, you know, nine miles, only three more hours. Now, of course, tanks today are much more mobile, are more fast, um, can do inflict a lot more damage, and can protect themselves a lot better also. All right, um, next class we'll start off, or next video we'll start off with gases and get into um, all of those sorts of things in airfare. Look at the calendar for the assignment for this video.